Good morning, grade twos. It's Monday morning. Welcome to another week of at home learning. And we started talking about money last week, and we are going to keep talking about money this week. Okay, and so we're going to talk about I have different sets of money here. Now I hope you can see what I've got. I might pull it up a little bit closer. Okay, so we're going to remember what these coins are called and how much they are worth. So I have two of these. Do you remember what they're called? Toonies. So I have two toonies and toonies are worth two dollars. Then I have two of these. Do you remember what these are called? Quarters. So I have two quarters and they're worth 25 cents. So 25 and 25 make 50. And then I have this, a nickel, which is worth five cents. So I have four dollars and 55 cents in my first group and then can you see how much money I have in the second group a toonie and a loonie so two dollars plus is three dollars and then I have three dollars in my next group now if I want to add these together how much money do I have all together Okay, how much money do I have all together? Well, let's begin with the dollars. I have $4 in this group, and if I add my $3, how many dollars do I have now? Two, four, six, seven. I have seven dollars, and did my cents change at all? No, because the three dollars didn't have any, so I still have my 55 cents okay so I still have my 55 cents okay now let's do this one without the money I don't have the money but let's do this one what if I told you I have six dollars and 25 cents and I was given two more dollars how much money do I have all together I have six dollars and 25 cents plus two more dollars well, let's look at the dollars. Six dollars plus two more dollars equals eight dollars. And did the cents change at all? No, I had 25 cents here, but nothing over here. So I still have 25 cents. So my total would be eight dollars and 25 cents. Okay, now I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to change our amount of money here. Okay. So I'm going to change the amount of money that we have. So I'm going to start with this amount. Can you see how much I have? So I have two toonies and a quarter, which is $4.25. And this time I want to add... 35 cents and I'm going to do that with a quarter and a dime so 25 cents and 10 more is 35 cents okay so if I have okay if I have 35 cents added okay so let's think about this I have four dollars do I have any dollars over here no so I'm still going to have my four dollars but the cents I have 25 here and I have 35 here okay so let's talk about how we could add these up okay now because you can see them you could see I have two quarters and two quarters makes 50 and then I have a dime which is 10 which is 60 cents or if you see these you could think of Five more on my 25 gives me 30, and then I have 30 left to add together. So I can think of 25 plus 35, right? And that gives me 60. Okay, so we can think of adding 25 and 35. We can add up counting by fives and counting by tens, okay, that we can add that up. So we would have $4.00 and 60 cents. Now let's do another one here. Without our money, I'm gonna tell you the amount. I have a dollar 75, 
and this time I would like to add 15 cents. Okay, so I have a dollar 75 and I want to add 15 cents. Well, let's look at the dollar. I have one dollar here, and I don't have any there. So let's start with our one dollar. And let's do 75 plus 15. Hmm, 75 plus 15. Well, if I take this five more, what's five more after 75? By counting by fives. 80, right? And then I have 110 left, gives me 90. So I have a dollar 90 total now that I add those two together. Okay? Now I'm going to do another one here. And I'm going to put my money up here again for you. So I'm going to start with $4.35. So I have two toonies and a quarter and a dime. Okay. And I want to add to it. Okay. And let me just find my amounts here. I want to add to it. I want to add to it 65 cents. I'm going to have my two quarters, my dime, and my nickel. So I have $4.35 plus I'm going to add 65 cents. Okay? So we can see that we're not adding dollars, we're going to add our cents. So our 35 plus our 65 is what we want to focus on, okay? So we can start at 65 if that's easier for you and think of bring over the five more would give me 70 and then let's count up three more tens, 80, 90. That makes a dollar. Our 35 and our 65 make a dollar. So when I put them together, I can trade that in for a dollar. 65 and 35 give me my dollar. So how many dollars do I have now? How many dollars do I have now? I had four here and adding my cents together give me another. So I have five dollars. Do you see that? That now I have five dollars. Okay? So you're going to do the same thing in your workbook today. You're going to do exercise 31, okay? And you're going to add. And it, up here, it's going to show you. Are we adding dollars? Down here, we might start adding some cents. And you can count up by fives and count up by tens to find out how much money that you have, okay? So this is the page that you are going to do today. And we'll see you tomorrow.